So we just had a really fun morning um, hanging out with Brian and Karen of a boat you might know called Delos. Um, they're really super awesome people. And we've decided as a group to head to another key. Um, it's about eight miles away. Um, so it's us, Delos, and Keelanit, who we've been traveling with the last couple weeks now. Tog Key has some really pretty beaches pretty pumped about it. It's one of my favorite things I think I've said before in videos is meeting new people, um, like-minded people, and just having fun and being spontaneous. And that's what cruising is all about to me. So today is like the idea of a perfect day in a cruising world. And to round that out, we <laughs> just damaged our windlass trying to get the anchor up. So it wouldn't be a cruising day without something breaking. Right, baby? Yeah, I'm not so pumped about that. No. See the bolts are... Uh somehow we gotta bend the back of the place or something. We're not pumped about this one at all. No, um, I'm pretty used to having windless. But I think we'll be able to fix it, so I think it's something we else. should be fine. It's kind of a cloudy day, but it's warm and it's not windy. I mean, it's windy, but it's not windy the way it has been, so we will take it <laughs> after yeah. the last four days. I'm referring to the windstorm that we rode out in our last episode. We spent four days hunkered down here, in the bottom of the Ragged Islands, and today we'll begin our move up the island chain to Hog Key. Alright, look at this, the windows fixed before I lift the anchor again. Okay, we're in. Now you have hot water too, sweetie. Yay! We could both uh, use a shower. <laughs>
Hey, honey. It's a beautiful morning, huh? Yeah, gorgeous. Going fishing today, I'm excited. <laughs> and I'm going hiking, I'm excited. I was sharpening all my spears last night. Oh, I was uh, wondering why they were out. Yeah, I had a little sharpening stone while I was watching TV last night. We're going, uh, we're going fishing with, uh, actually, Brian from Delos today. We, uh, there's a big, like, group bonfire, beach cook-off thing going on tonight. And, uh, because we've been down in the ragged for a while, we don't have a lot of meat. So, uh, we're gonna go see if we can harvest some, like, lobsters or fish and bring them to the cookout for fun. So, uh, we're gonna take, uh, their dinghy, Maggie, actually four miles up to Double Breasted Key. A little more sea life there, supposedly. So it'll be a fun little mission for the boys while the girls are going hiking on the beach. Apparently, the hiking here is really good. Um, there's lots of trails that are well marked and well groomed, um, and Karen's actually done a couple of them, so it's very helpful. Looks like this is all sand. And then there's some reef around this corner. And last time we were here, the sharks were nipping at Kaz's paddleboard. Oh man. As uh, she was paddling around this island. So, how big was that shark? I don't know, like just over a meter, I think. Uh, Four feet or something. Nothing. Yeah.
I think there's another one down there. like a reasonable explanation. Oh yeah, it is. Fiberglass, and they just contaminated from the boot. Not sure how that happened. I managed to catch a lobster that Brian found. He flushed it out, and uh, it was running away. We got shot, so we caught three lobsters. A whole bunch of conch. Yeah, so I'm gonna try to see if I can find any fish. I'm gonna round it out here. Here we go. Nice shot. So not a bad catch, huh? We got three lobster of various sizes, one grouper, and a bunch of conks.
working on some conch that they caught. And I'm just here chilling with little Sierra um, on this beautiful beach. And I'm so thankful that they got um, some fish today and lobster and these conch because we're really getting low on food. And we don't usually eat conch, so I'm kind of curious to see how this works. Look at this thing, it looks like pretty prehistoric. Yep, does it feel like you got in there real good? Yeah, I think so. Cool. Okay. Or like, you gotta make the hole a little very bit bigger. Normal yeah, and then try it again. Try it again, hon? It's really pretty, the inside of the yeah. shell. Yeah. Can we make the hole a little bit bigger? Yeah. The conch with the I'm will sure to live. Done everything right, it's just really like entrenched. Yeah. Maybe it's the back of it. That's like a massive hole. Yeah, we're almost on the hole. When it becomes clear that we could use a little guidance, no our friend Jerry, a guy who happens to have a lot of experience harvesting conch, steps in to lend a hand. I'll try to get the knife in there. Just stay here. Over here, right in the slot where you cut. And yep, there? right in there. Yep, and we'll work it down in. Kind of saw that way, and then flip the blade around. Yep, and yep, and now bring it back out and put the blade the other way. But start over here. Okay. Put it in there and go down that way. We got to fix this one now. We got to go. That's where we went higher. wrong. We got to go a little higher on that one. How does this compare to playing a fish? Um, I prefer to play fish. Yeah, right up here. <laughs> You're just below the top rope, right, right here. Not over here, but right here. Not so much here, not so much there. Okay, well, you know, you want to get the tendon, you got to go in the right spot. Yeah, you're going to add yeah, a quarter inch from the toenail. You're not going to go all the way up to the toenail. Does it matter which side? Like, yes, it around? does. Not uh, this we'll side. Just keep going. This we'll get the them done. Poop shoe. Okay, so flip it over. And then the back side, you're going to put it, it doesn't matter where down here, you're just going to put it in. And you're going to see, I'm, I'm not pushing deeply. I'm just doing a light little, I'm just cutting the skin. That guy right he was he's sticking the knife halfway through it. Just <laughs> but he's got to do it yet. <laughs> what are you <laughs> talking about? I mean, I, I'm getting this thing. Even this thing is for him. Yeah. Yeah. See, so I'm just pushing. It's not that easy. Okay. Yep, there you go. Easy. Okay. Try now do, uh, doing it with your thumbnail. That's how I Okay, whatever on. works. Whatever works for you. Oh, that's a new move. <laughs> he's like, oh. <laughs> nah. How are they doing, Jerry? Practice makes perfect. Yeah, I agree with that. And <laughs> no, Wise no, words. I, you, you all have, I mean, you, you two have some, you're, you're new at it. So what did you want to be? Like, you know, you went out to be a baseball pitcher and on your first pitch, how'd you do? Well, let me know in three years and you might have the pitch down. So um, yeah. it takes time. It's a good analogy. It takes time. Go. <laughs> you're the man. Whoa. Whoa. Nice. Done though. So what's our final conch count? Do we even know? That massive slime, I have no idea. A lot. spiny lobster that Bill caught and we are bringing it with us to this potluck dinner on the beach tonight. So basically um, he just cut it open and took out the internal stuff and now I'm going to season it. What, uh, you want to explain what's happening tonight? Yeah, we're, um, it's like a little cruiser hangout on the beach and everybody's bringing whatever meats they're eating, like kind of like their main course to eat for themselves and then a dish to share. Yep. So we actually just kind of found out about the dish to share thing, so I, I just made instant mashed potatoes. Yeah, and uh, we're a little exhausted. We've been diving all day, so we kind of missed plan. We were just on the beach cleaning conch for probably two hours or something. Yeah. Um, so everyone's at the beach starting. We're a little late, but uh, better late than never. Yeah. So we're gonna get some butter and olive oil, salt Marley. pepper, yeah, garlic powder, and. Um, garlic, just a bit of dill. A 
lemon, and then literally can't do lobster without butter. That's actually not true. There are other really good ways to have lobster, but today we're keeping it simple because we just are pretty tired. Don't do it. Please don't do it. No. No. Oh. <laughs> 